there, Hilarious26 here, back with another video on Minecraft, and today we are going to make a redstone flaming arrow cannon. This shoots automatic uh, flaming arrows at anyone, actually. It could be me, it could be someone else, it can even be you. Um, this is going to be another redstone tutorial, as mentioned in the title and description. Well, if you're wondering what this cannon does, well, let me show you. Let me first put these in the hoppers now this is going to shoot normal arrows but there will be a catch you'll see in a second oh, i failed that let me go get some redstone sorry for the delay here but as you can see it's shooting normal arrows but when i flick this the arrows start flaming up sending flaming arrows at whoever your opponent is this is a really good weapon for anyone that likes to have fun and at the same time likes uh, destroying things. The only side to th this is that it is not really accurate. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy the tutorial and let's get so on. So what you are going to need for this redstone tutorial is one redstone repeater, a dispenser, a lever, a sign, oak sign, or any other sign you can find, redstone, cobblestone, birch fence, a piston, a hopper, and the main stars of the show, four arrows, and not to forget the lava. So to make this flaming arrow cannon, we're going to start off with our base, which is the fence. Place it like so. Those are matching. Do the same for the other side. And now that you've got that, you're going to take your cobblestone, place it on top of the fence, and connect them all. Again, like so. This is so that we can create a base for our um, flaming arrow cannon. I don't think you will actually need to do this, but it makes it look a little more nice. And this can be any block of your choice, not cobblestone. So... For the next part, we're going to create a redstone clock. Creating this redstone clock will make it fire automatically, or in other words, it will make it go on and off due to a redstone signal, which will cause the um, dispenser to be automatic. So we're gonna place them like this, this one going forward, and this one going backwards. So now that you've done that, you wanna connect these together with the redstone. Place one more block back here and a block on top. This is where you will put your lever. We will go back to this in a second. Now that, you, now that you've done that, what you're going to want to do is make the dispensers. Take your first dispenser, place it here. This dispenser will be the one that brings in the lava, which brings in the fire. And then you put in your piston, which stops the lava from spreading turns off the flaming arrows. So you've got that all ready. Your next part is to find a way to fill in the the um, dispenser. So you're gonna take your two hoppers and make sure you crouch and, and touch that block dispenser. This will connect them to this, bringing the, red s the arrows together. Now that we've done that, we're going to Make this into the working redstone clock. You have to quickly flick this on and off. I failed that time. Okay. We are going to try that again. There we go. As you can see, as I mentioned before, a redstone clock has happened. Now what you're going to want to do is connect the two so that it can be automatic. Oh, you have to crouch when pressing onto the dispenser. And for the final few steps, we are going to put everything together. Put your two levers here so you can activate the piston and the lava. Fill in your dispenser with the lava so we are going to replace it with the redstone because we're done with that. Put in the redstone. Oh, not the redstone, the lava in here. Next, what we're going to want to do is fill in the hoppers with the arrows and this is where stuff gets interesting so you're just going to want to place the things like so put in your t your arrows this starts off the hopper 
now. And before we start off the flaming arrows, we have to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So I don't know why I placed a sign there, but get your cobblestone back. And after that, oh no, I ran out of that. So we're gonna place it like this. Break that, make a base. And you're going to place a sign here. This ensures that no lava will escape. And you could, you used to, were, you used to be able to put in a fence and that would stop, and that stops it. So we're going to place the lava in, I mean, spawn the lava in. Like that. See, there's no flow. I have to refill these actually. Hmm. Put in your arrows and you can see it's flaming. And to simply stop the fire, you just have to click this lever which pushes the fire back in, lava back in, which causes this to happen. Well, there you have it guys, a flaming arrow cannon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you